that you would want called Shell. And the, this is it here. Show a video how to get it. And make sure you get this accessibility thing. Yeah. One of the other apps, Puffin Free. And it's very useful. And obviously it's free or you can get the paid version. There's another three apps. Well, well one that you would obviously have. You have iMovie, Photoshop Touch and YouTube to upload from. Or you can upload from Capture. Studio is just one of them apps you don't need. Or capture is just that. Um, it's just how like what looking at how many views you've got and all them things. I'm gonna go back into shells. So here is one of the apps that you would definitely need to use because it's one of the most important because it's a desktop, um, like desktop thing. It's just. It's like the desktop computer version of the like YouTube. So you can add thumbnails, you can monetize videos, you can like add your picture for your YouTube channel and all that stuff. But next I'll be showing you because some of them say, oh, you can't add this picture because it's not this big or this. So I'm going to be showing you Photoshop next. As I said, here is the other application that I'm going to see, which is Photoshop Touch. Just click on it. And this will be very good for like resizing your images, as I said. Or, like, I'll show you here. Ah, yeah, that's it. Okay. And that's fine. Like, or if you want, don't want to do it like that, like, pretend you already had a blank picture and you just didn't like how that works. I'm just going to do here for foot library, it doesn't really matter. For my most recent video. And you can actually just add a new photo layer, so pretend that was nothing there. It just wasn't a proper thing. And you just click it, click it again, and then you can resize this image. So it's going to be whatever the size. And you can upside down. And this actually would be good, so if I wanted to add my image of me, I could like only do my like diner drinks and back with me. Um yeah, you can add uh, like well, it doesn't really matter. But that's very good what Photoshop can do for you. And it can do obviously more features and make the background so you don't see anything there. So if you put two images on and you can see like the white back, like when you get a picture, some of them show on the, like, you don't, you see the picture, but then on the black back of, like, all of the picture around it, it's white, so it's just one square that's white, yeah, and you put it on another image, and you can just see that white bit, if it's, like, dotted, like, checkers thing, like here, it means it's not, and it didn't exactly work, anyways, that's the next one. Here we go. If I just go back to show, and then and this. So here is the next application. So this is the next application that I would advise is iMovie. Just click on it, and it will give you this very good um, thing here. Um, so this is the most one of the most recent things that I've done. I don't know. Really? No, no. Don't know. That I can't exactly show you, but like, yeah, you can put two clips together, and that is very good. Um, you can put two clips together, add audio while it's going, and stuff like that. But if you see my um video on what was it? what was the app, let me think. Um, An app, what was it? Goblin Sword. If you see the app review, you'll see how it changes. There's new bits and it's audio and stuff like that. And it all works. And yeah, so that is the next thing that you'll need. And I'm not, this is obviously YouTube capture. These are just the things that you'll just add. And yeah. And that's how to like be a professional YouTuber. I uh, hope you enjoyed this good video. <laughs> And this is the Dino Jinx signing off.